Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Listen, the number one question, well, the number two question, because the number one question is how do you get started? But the next question that people ask when it comes to journaling is, what do you write about? So today, that's really what I want to get into. I want to look at the writing prompts versus the free flow way of journaling. But before we get into that, hey girl, my name is Indiana Tuggle. I am an author, I am a speaker, I am a journal coach, and I create journals, planners, and inspirational books to help women to heal, grow in Christ so that they can achieve their goals and fulfill their purpose. And you can learn more about me and my products at www indywrites.com. The link will be in the comments. Well, so when it comes to writing prompts versus just free flow, just writing however you feel, which one is really better? And honestly, neither are really um, wrong. So it really depends on your goals and um, your objectives when it comes to journaling. What I like about writing prompts is that writing prompts help solve that problem. You don't have to think about what you're going to write about. You have a question or a quote that is right in front of you that really tells you what to do. And sometimes people don't want to sit there um, wasting time trying to figure out what to do because free flow can be difficult for an overstimulated mind. You might just have too many thoughts running through your head because when you're trying to start journaling, your mind ain't there yet. <laughs> so you're gonna have all kinds of thoughts running through your head about yesterday, today, tomorrow, what you got to do on, on the job, you know, at school, in your house, your kids, whatever role that you have, when you sit down to journal, they all gonna come flooding back to you because whenever you sit down, the mind is like, oh, we're resting. Let me tell her what to do next. So um, you really don't have to worry about that when it comes to writing prompts because writing prompts, and they can be in the form, like I said, of a question or a quote, they help stimulate your emotion and spark internal dialogue. So they help, help to give you focus and guidance. Now, when it comes to free flow, you have to tap into your own internal stimulation. You have to train your mind, right? You have to guide your thoughts, right? When it comes to that, you have to pretty much tell yourself what to do. But that can be accomplished when you find your why when it comes to your journaling. When you figure out what do you actually want to journal for? When you establish that need, as I talked about in another video, you have to establish a need for your journal and that will help you to stimulate your mind, to train your mind. If you automatically tell yourself, I'm going to use this journal to plan out my you know, health goals, my, my work goals, or to document my growth journey as I go through my Bible study, then you automatically know what you're going to be writing about. So you don't have to worry about that, right? Um, another thing that I like about writing prompts is they can be most effective when you choose a subject and find prompts in that subject area, right? Um, and that helps to give your writing structure. I don't really like random writing prompts because they're not going to help you. The way in which you help to grow in certain areas is if you have to have consistency in those areas. So I love that you can buy writing prompts on any subject. If you want to write up, if you're on a self-love journey, you can find writing prompts 
about self-love, if you want to talk about um, trust, and that's on the top of my brain because I am studying trust, I can find writing prompts on um, trusting um, others. You can find writing prompts on pretty much any area. If you want to do self-discovery, self-reflection, if you want to talk about consistency, if you want to talk about overcoming your fears, you can find writing prompts in those areas. And what I really truly love about how people are embracing writing prompts is that a lot of therapists and coaches are creating um, card decks when it comes to um, their writing prompts. So you can get a card deck that contains 30 writing prompts on a specific subject and you can write through that for a month or two months, however long it takes you to get through that. I really like that part of it. And then another way that you can get into writing prompts, it also comes with quotes. A lot of them are creating uh, writing prompt books, you know, like affirmations that you can speak over yourself and you can write about that. So you can buy a whole affirmation book or um, an affirmation card deck. You can buy a card deck that has specific scriptures on a specific subject area. You can buy scriptures on promises from God. You know, you can buy scriptures on on overcoming your fear and you can get that all in a convenient little card deck then you can buy you any type of journal you want to buy you know and you can just work through that card deck when it comes to free flow you just kind of have to give yourself that own folk your own focus and completely immerse yourself into that subject area Right. And that's kind of the way that I journal. Once I say that I want to do a journal on a specific um, subject, then I will pull out my book that's on a topical study of the Bible. I will look that topic up and I will see that list of scripture references that it gives me. And I will go and study all of those scriptures. I'll also buy a book in that subject area and I will study that book as well. So when it comes to free flow, you kind of have to do your own research, <laughs> create your own structure via research or a topical Bible study or books. Now, when it comes to um, prompted journals, they are similar. However, it de really depends on what type of prompted journal you, you can buy. There are two different types. You can buy a prompted journal where there is the same question is repeated on every page of that journal. I don't really like those. Um, some, something that you can put you in the mind of that is a gratitude journal. A gratitude journal really says the same thing on every page. What are you grateful for? Today I'm grateful for, today I learned. And I have a gratitude journal. And mine is like that. You repeat the same question on each page, but the way that I made mine different is that I included a different um, scripture and a different affirmation that they could um, recite to help encourage them on that day on each page. Then they go into the, what are you grateful for? What did you learn? You know, um, what are you looking forward to? And things like that. So a prompted journal that repeats the same question on each page, um, that can be helpful if you're, you know, want to do the same thing over and over is like I said, is really, really great for gratitude journaling. Um, another type of prompted journal is one where there is a different prompt on each page, right? There is a different question. And these are the type of writing prompt journals that I write, um, or that I create, um, each journal is designed to take you through a different process or a different subject matter. And so um, as you go through the text in that process, you will have different writing prompts to help you to um, encourage your thought, encourage your reflection, encourage you to go through that self-awareness, that self-discovery so that you really can get deep into your subconscious. I really like those types of journals. And like I said, a lot of therapists and coaches are getting into creating those because like I've said before, journaling is supposed to be a tool that can help you in and out of therapy, you know, in and out of coaching. So um, it could really be beneficial to you. 
Um, another thing that's happening is if you go on Etsy, you can buy writing prompts, <laughs> you know, um, you can buy them um, and they come in a PDF form and you could just print that PDF out and um, have all of those prompts with you and just go through them one at a time. But I don't really like that method because you know how we are. If you see a whole lot of questions, you're just going to skip through and you're going to choose the ones that is easy for you to answer. And you're going to go through that. I prefer when you have the prompts before you and you just randomly pick a question and you take a minute to pause, think about it, and then you write, right? Um, That way, and, and when they're on a specific subject, it can really help you in that manner. So um, when it comes to writing prompts, I really truly like them. They can be very, very beneficial. The best ones are the ones that help you journal through a specific um, topic or a specific area of growth in which you have discovered. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you prefer. If you prefer to write with writing prompts or you prefer free flow. And if you made it this far, of course, click, click like and subscribe and join me back here for next, another journaling episode. Smooches!